why are fantasy basketball rankings so confusing? I mean, like, it's wild, y'all. Fantasy football, which I played for a while before I got into fantasy basketball, is pretty straightforward, with the exception of having different formats. Like, we have our PPR leagues. You might have, you know what I'm saying, you have PPR leagues, standard league. You know, you might have some dynasty in there. But at the end of the day, it's pretty straightforward. Fantasy basketball is a whole nother beast when it comes to rankings. Specifically, when you think about um, the general rankings that are out there by the pros compared to what these websites and platforms are creating in their, you know, in their ecosystem surrounding drafts, right? So your draft ranking or pre-draft ranking, whatever, it's crazy. And sometimes the websites don't even tell you like, yo, this is the rankings for a category league. This is the rankings for a roto league. This, These are the rankings for a points league. They just say these are the rankings. Like, Anybody rankings, like what? Military rankings? Shaba rankings? Like what are we talking about here, yo? So I wanted to take a minute today because I love dynasty formats, just having fantasy basketball players from year to year, being in a league with a bunch of guys who are invested in the success of the players long term, just creates a whole different vibe. I call it fantasy all year, right? So you know how it is with a redraft league. We finish the season. Man, if people lose, they're deleting the app. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that. Have you ever deleted the app after you lost and went like off the grid until next season? And that's what happens a lot of the time. Even for content creators um, in the fantasy basketball world specifically, I've seen this where after the season is done, the creators take time off. I know I've taken time off. Um, and then also the audience sometimes will unfollow you. I've seen that with some of the bigger creators even. That when at the end of the season, people are like, okay, I don't want your alerts anymore. I'm just using you for the season. You know, so um, I kind of went off of topic there. But I wanted to just let you know that this episode is really about... Um, getting you guys open to the idea of dynasty specifically around rankings because i believe that rankings in dynasty are kind of the only rankings that really matter cuz they're like purely projection trending future you know projections Based, It's based on my opinion of what's going to happen in the future, which I like because at least there, it's like a person's position on it. It's not some computer taking the numbers and making like Giannis Antetokounmpo like the hundredth player in fantasy because he had, you know, a bunch of turnovers or had poor field goal, uh, poor free throw percentages, I should say. So things like that are, are worth taking into consideration. With that being said, in this episode, we're going to take at a look at the top 50. In this episode, we will take a look at the top 50 rankings for fantasy basketball points leagues according to one of my favorite sites, hashtag basketball.com. We're going to start off with number 50. We're going to get right into the action. I'm going to share my screen, let you guys take a look at the site, which is a really great site. And let's just dot go ahead and jump right in. So number 50, according to hashtag basketball, is Amin Thompson. Amin Thompson doesn't have any stats from last year, obviously, as he is a rookie. This is being filmed in the summer of 2023. And um, hashtag basketball typically updates this every few Every few months, especially in the season, they they update it quite often. During the off season, they might uh, you know update it every few months. So Amin Thompson is number fifty, and I'm not mad at that because again, it's just it's she, it's sheer speculation at this point. We don't know what he will be, what he will do. 
We've seen him in Overtime Elite. He looked like a dog, like a beast in Overtime Elite. I spoke about this the other day. One thing I really like about him and his brother are their temper is their temperament. They're really like really calm and serious and stoic almost. And then they get it done, you know. So I think that um on the outside, he seems to be talented and mature. So I'm eager to see what he does. He is 20 years old, 20 and five months. Number 49. Former Rookie of the Year, Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes is 22 years old. He is the small forward from the Toronto Raptors. Last year, Scotty Barnes averaged 15.3 points per game, 6.6 rebounds, 4.8 assists, 1.1 steals, and 0.8 blocks. Really, really good numbers from Scotty Barnes, especially from a young guy like this. Hashtag basketball says... Teams work Barnes out, but like most good players, he's starting to adapt this game, which is a good sign towards getting his jump shot going. I think that commentary might have been maybe before he um, was drafted even because he's saying teams work them out. I don't know. Anyway, you look at it. I love Scotty Barnes, not just in Dynasty in general. Big reason is with Fred Van Vliet leaving town. There's going to be tons of opportunity for guys. There's going to be a ton of shots that need to be taken. There's going to be a ton of, um, you know, opportunities to, to, to have the ball in their hands a little more with Fred Van Vliet departing from the city of Toronto to head over to Houston. So I think Scotty Barnes is going to be one of the players who benefits from that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does. It's also worth noting that Scotty Barnes actually dropped three spots since the last time they did these rankings. Number 48. Number 48 is Pascal Siakam, who is the teammate of Scotty Barnes. Uh, Siakam is on the older side. He is 29 years old in three months. Last year, he averaged 24.2 points per game, which is nice. 7.8 rebounds, 5.8 assists, 0.9 steals, and a half a block. So Pascal Siakam is solid. When we think about uh, fantasy rankings for Dynasty, you always want to think about a player's age and how much upside and how much growth can they have. And at 29, I think Pascal Siakam, as it says here, dropped three spots since the last time they did this. That makes perfect sense, and I and I totally understand. Have a sip of this coffee. Next up, number 47 is Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is 31 years old in three months. He is uh, a point guard for the Dallas Mavericks uh, this season and last season. It looks like um, he had a pretty great season last year. Kyrie Irving averaged 27.1 points per game, 5.1 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 1.1 steals, 0.8 blocks. Like this man is no joke. Also shot 49% from the field, 90% from the free throw line. And yo, he was just literally cooking, cooking. And one thing people would say, Kyrie is one of the most gifted players that the game has ever seen. Like, no one would ever debate that. I think that what people question sometimes is some of the stuff that happens off court and how that trans, you know, transcends to the to the hardwood floor. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. But I think 47 uh, for Kyrie is fair considering his age. And also it's worth noting he dropped three spots since the last time they conducted these rankings. Next up, a player that I love. Oh, my God. I'm so wild and crazy about this guy. Number 46 on the list is Jalen Brunson from the New York Knicks. 26 years old, y'all. 26 years old in nine months. Whew, man, this is what Hashtag has to say. They say he has cemented himself as Mr. New York and should continue to put up top 50 numbers next season. Agreed. I think Jalen Brunson is a dog, and he plays ball the right way and never cheats the game. He averaged 24 points a game last season, 3.5 rebounds, and 6.2 assists, yes. 0.9 steals, yes, and 0.2 blocks. He's a guard, so that's kind of a non-factor. So here with you know being ranked at uh, number 46, 
He dropped four spots since, since the last time they conducted these rankings. But I think this is fair. I think he'll be in the top 50 for the next three, maybe four years in Dynasty as he gets older. But I love me some Jalen Brown. Next up is another one of my faves, Josh Giddy. Josh Giddy is only 20 years old, y'all. Josh Giddy feels like he's been in the league for years, right? It feels like he been he should be like 26 right now. But your man is only 20 years old in eight months. Josh Giddy is listed here as a shooting guard and a small forward, but he he's played a lot of point uh point guard. So I imagine that he'll have uh multiple position eligibility, which is very valuable, not just in dynasty, but in fantasy in general. Um hashtag basketball says. There's still room for improvement, his shooting and defensive numbers, but he's improving every season, which is true. Last year, Giddy averaged 16.6 points per game, 7.9 rebounds, 6.2 assists. Yo, he's also the, the youngest player ever to get a triple-double in NBA history, yo. So Josh Giddy has a lot of potential, and at 20 years old, for him to be in the league this many years and constantly improving... I think that that number, 45, will actually go up in the next year or two, or maybe even in the next year. Uh, he dropped four spots, and which is weird because he's so young, but they probably needed to put some of the rookies in here, and that's kind of caused people to drop a little bit. Number 44, OG Ananobi. OG Ananobi is 26 years old. I didn't realize OG was so old. He averaged 16.8 points per game, five rebounds, two assists. 1.9 steals, guys. And whew, steals are weighted heavily in points league. So most um stat, you know, uh default scoring, most default scoring has steals being weighted heavy, heavy, heavy. So it's it's wild that your man is averaging almost two steals per game. OG Ananobi also dropped about five spots here since the last time they did this. Number 43, Damian Lillard. I love Damian Lillard. And I think him being able to stay in the top 50 says a lot because he is 33 years old, y'all. Currently still playing for the Portland Trailblazers. He did request a trade around the time of recording this episode. And he has yet, uh, Portland has yet to secure a trade partner. So he is still a Portland Trailblazer. Last season, oh my God, check this out. Damian Lillard averaged 32.2 points per game, y'all. 7.3 assists. Ugh, he is killing it, man. Yo, Damian Lillard is the man. Hashtag basketball says, take this ranking with a grain of salt. It will be updated as soon as we hear what team he'll be on next season. That makes a lot of sense. Number 42 is a new one. Someone that I haven't seen on this list this high before is Walker Kessler. Walker Kessler is the 22-year-old big man out of Utah, had a great season last year, averaged 9.2 points per game, 8.4 rebounds, 2.3 blocks. Again, defensive stats are heavily weighted in fantasy basketball, guys, especially when you talk about a points league, you get, you know, where you might get one point for a basket, you get like three or four points for a block. So this is really good to know that Walker Kessler is rising because even in some of the re redraft leagues, um, um, I should say some of the mock drafts that we're doing, you can see him rising up, which is weird, right? Because he's, he's only a second year player. And also he doesn't have that name value yet. Pay attention to Walker Kessler, y'all. Pay attention to Walker Kessler. Next up, number 41 is Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram is 25 years old in nine months. He plays a bunch of positions, including shooting guard, small forward, power forward. Uh, uh, hashtag basketball says his lack of defensive numbers hurts his value. That makes sense. He averaged 24.7 points a game last season, 5.5 rebounds, 5.8 assists. Brandon Ingram is one of my favorite players to watch. He reminds me of like a young KD, really tall, slim frame, but killer, killer jump shot. Also can take it to the rack. I think that this is about right for him, though. I, I'm not complaining about this at all. So we're going to go 41 for Brandon Ingram. Number 40. Now, this one we can talk about a little bit. So James Harden is number 40, y'all. 
He is 33 years old in nine months. He is like t- knocking on the door of 34 years old. Last season, he averaged 21 points a game. This is James Harden that was averaging 36 a couple years ago, y'all. Maybe three or four years ago. Not even three. Not even four years ago. Definitely like like two and a half seasons ago. He was averaging like 30-something a game, right? Um, 6.1 rebounds, but this is where he does well. 10.7 assists per game. Listen, he led the league in assists. I'm telling you, James Harden, even though people are kind of out on him because of the way he's carried himself organization to organization over the last couple of years with these trade requests. It's James Harden, yo. And even if he just does the 21 and 10, don't worry about his points. Look at his assists because assists are typically weighted heavier than points. There it is. So I would definitely be looking at James Harden in drafts. But he is ranked 40 for Dynasty. If I was in a startup draft, I would not be looking at him in the earlier rounds. Number 39 is Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain is 25 years old. He is the two guard from the Memphis Grizzlies. Hashtag basketball says he's a knockdown shooter who's on pace to become a fantasy staple. I agree with that. He averaged 21.5 points per game, five rebounds, 4.4 assists. Number 38, Kristaps Porzingis, 28 years old. The new addition to the Boston Celtics averaged 23.2 points per game last year, 8.4 rebounds, 1.6 blocks. Hashtag basketball says Porzingis finished last season as the 11th ranked player in per game value and 21st the season prior. There's no doubt he can put up elite numbers, but he's joining a Boston roster with two high usage wings. So temper your expectations. I agree with that totally. It looks like Kristaps Porzingis dropped eight spots since the last time they conducted rankings. Number 38, Alfred Shingun, 21 years old. He's a young buck out of Houston, a lot of potential. I like seeing him in this top 50 because I do think he is due for a leap. But even the numbers he's putting up now are good, good numbers for fantasy. Let's check them out. He averaged 14.8 points per game, 9 rebounds per game, 3.9 assists, 0.9 steals, and 0.9 blocks. Almost a block and a steal a game. Shingun gets a new coach who will hopefully give him a bigger role. But Houston has added a lot of usage this offseason. That is fair from hashtag basketball. There is a lot of traffic back there. You got a lot of players and it's not a lot of playing time. But that's a good problem for the coaching staff. Maybe not such a good problem if you have any stakes in Alpha and Shingun for Dynasty. Number 36, DeJounte Murray. He is 26 years old and eight months. Point guard from the Atlanta Hawks. Combo guard, I should say. Averaged 20 points a game, 6.1 assists, 1.5 steals. According to Hashtag Basketball, Murray started the season strong and ended up as the 47th ranked player in per game value. Expect another season in the 50 to 60 range. Have a sip of this coffee. Number 35 is Jalen Brown, 26 years old in seven months. Averaged 26.6 points per game last year, 6.9 rebounds. Hashtag basketball says he spent his first three seasons in the NBA shooting sub 70% from the free throw line. So temper your expectations if you're expecting him to reach 80% next season. I think Jalen Brown might. He's one of those people that might be in the mix for the Dame Lillard trade. We'll see. If he moves, this could change in either direction, depending on where he lands. Number 34, Miles Turner is 27 years old and three months. The big man from Indiana averaged 18 points a game last season, 7.5 rebounds, 2.3 blocks, which is big, which is big. I've never been crazy about Miles Turner. He always seems like he just is not that guy in fantasy. Like he has decent numbers, but when they put him at 34, which to me is high, I think 34 is high. He's like next to Jalen Brown and DeJounte Murray, 27 years old on the older side. Like I'm not okay with this. I would definitely drop Miles Turner a little bit. I don't think he's the number 34th player in dynasty points leagues. Number 33, Ja 
Moran. John Moran is 23 years old, averaged 26.2 points per game, 8.1 assists last season. <sighs> I can I, I keep saying I can do a whole episode on John Morant. I keep saying it. I keep saying I could do a whole episode on John Morant. Like I could talk about this. Man, I don't even know if I want to talk about it, y'all. I, I'm 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 over it. Yeah. So him being 33, this this should not be the case. He was at one point way up there. Same thing with Zion. Now they're sitting here, 33 and 32. Come on, man. It's it's heartbreaking. So I'm not going to get into it because I don't have the time, but whack. Number 32, Zion Williamson, 23 years old. Last year averaged 26 and 7 rebounds. Listen, again, another guy. He got a lot of off-court antics. Unlike John Morant, it doesn't have to do with illegal weapons. It has to do with Instagram models. And adult superstar entertainers. Bro. Yo, you are worth, you know, like a country's, a small country's revenue. <laughs> like, come on, B. Get it together. Zion's 32. Number 31, Jamal Murray, 26.4 or 26 years old in four months, I should say. He's a young guy. He's still a very young guy. He ranked, he was ranked 25 spots higher than last time they did this. That is a crazy jump. I am curious to know why that happened. Because his regular season numbers ain't that crazy. 20 points a game, four rebounds, 6.2 assists. That has to do with him winning a championship, which is totally, totally irrelevant when it comes to to fantasy basketball. Him winning, Jamal Murray winning an NBA title has nothing to do with his fantasy value. Book it. Like literally, they there's no correlation. The only thing you can say is that maybe mentally, he's more confident now going into the next season that he's a champion. But history shows that Jamal Murray performs very well in the playoffs and now in the finals, he plays well in the playoffs. In a regular season, he's all right. He's good. But is he worth jumping up 30, uh, 25 positions? I, I wouldn't do that. That's that's a little extreme. That might have been a mistake. Number 30 is Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is 34 years old in eight months. Guys, he is an older guy. He's uh, three spots lower than where he was. He averaged 29.1 points per game last season, 6.7 rebounds, five assists, 0.7 steals, and 1.4 blocks. Hashtag basketball says, KD will be KD wherever KD plays. Now, they didn't say that. I added that last KD, but this is true. I think I, I'm looking at KD for redraft leagues. I'm looking at him at the bottom of the first round. People are picking him up in the... Uh, second round which is crazy to me like where are we in a game where kd's going in the second round come on man. it ain't that much talent out there where y'all gotta drop the reaper but for dynasty i don't know if i would have him this high i i, I would probably have him a little bit low i would probably have ja Morant and zion a little higher and have him down in that 35 area next up is actually you know what? Before we go next up, I got something to talk to you guys about. I want to introduce myself. I'm Robin Marks. Welcome to the Game Pick Fantasy Basketball Podcast. You can connect with me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Game Pick Podcast. You can also connect with me at Robin Marks. If you love fantasy sports, please consider subscribing wherever you're listening or watching. Give this episode a like. Hit the bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of these fantasy gems. We release new episodes every single week. And for the month of July, we'll be going live every Sunday at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with a mock draft every Tuesday and every Thursday at 5.30 a.m. If you need help with your dynasty team or with fantasy in general or with life, just drop your question in the comments. I will respond to every single comment. This episode is brought to you by the Fantasy Sports Shop on Etsy. 
Grab your exclusive fantasy sports swag. And if you have ideas for the next drop, let us know in the comment section of this episode. Also, this month, we will be giving away a shirt to one of our community members. You can pick the design, but to enter, all you have to do is comment the words free shirt. To take a look at what we have in stock, you can visit bit.ly slash the fantasy sports shop. That's B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash the fantasy sports shop. And don't forget, make sure you drop the words free shirt in the comments so you can enter to win. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the the next 30 players. So so we got what well, we did number 30. We're going to go right to number 29. Number 29 is Steph Curry. Steph Curry is 35 years old, still the point guard for the Warriors, averaged 29.4 points per game last season, guys. 6.1 rebounds, 6.3 assists. Again, he's 35 years old. Kevin Durant is 34. Like, I don't know if it's because of health issues that they have Steph Curry over Kevin Durant, but I would drop both of these guys a little lower. Number 28, Jalen Williams, 22 years old from the OKC Thunder. That's wild to me. He averaged 17.4 points, 5.6 rebounds, 4.1 assists, and 1.5 steals in the last month of the season on elite shooting percentages. This is wild to me. I, I don't know if I rock with this. I don't know if Jalen Williams should be this high. Like, he, he moved up eight spots. Like, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if I would move someone up that high because he had a good run at the last month of the season. Player like teams are like tanking. It's all kinds of wonkiness happening. This seems a, a tad bit, a, a smidget too extreme for me. Laurie Marketing is Lori Marketing is number 27. He is 26 years old. Averaged 25.6 points per game last season, y'all. 8.6 rebounds. Another player. I don't know if he'll keep that up. I honestly do not know if Laurie is gonna be that Laurie. This season, if he is and he does it two seasons in a row, then I'll be like, I right, he needs to be in the in the conversation surrounding the top thirty in dynasty leagues. But until I can see that consistently, I'm I'm a little like concerned about him being so high. Next up, twenty six, number twenty six is De'Aaron Fox. De'Aaron Fox averaged twenty five points per game, six point one assists. I love De'Aaron Fox in this area in the top thirty. He moved up three spots from the last time. They did these uh, rankings. Hashtag basketball says, light the beam because Fox and Sabonis are playing great together. That's big facts. Them playing together, that's a good one-two combo, one-two punch. Love it. Number 25, Paolo Banquero. He is 20 years old, rookie of the year. Average 20 points per game, 6.9 rebounds, 3.7 assists. According to hashtag, Paolo's offensive game from scoring to passing is already there. And most first-year players see improvements in shooting percentage as they get older. I agree with that. I think Paolo is like nothing but improvement over the next couple of years. And he will he will ascend. And he's going to have a year where he takes a big jump. I don't know when it will be, if it will be this year or next year. But I love Paolo Bancato here in the 25th position for Dynasty Ranks for Points Leagues. Number 24, Anthony Davis, 30 years old. Average 25.9 points per game, 12.6 rebounds, two po- two blocks a game. But I'm not feeling this. Anthony Davis being this high, higher than Zion, higher than Ja. Like, it's a little wild to me. Like, I understand he's still kind of young. He's just 30 years old. But I- I'm not with that. I would have probably have him down more in like the 31, 32 range. Number 23, Mikael Bridges. For points league, I don't know if this makes as much sense for him to be this high. I think, I don't know, is this because he got traded to Brooklyn and appears to be their number one option? I don't know about this one. Um, It just doesn't feel right. Statistically, he averaged 20 points a game, 1.1 steals, 0.7 blocks, four rebounds, three assists. That is nothing wild and crazy or like, oh my God, he's the the next coming of Scottie Pippen. Like he, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. It ain't, it's not like he's 19 years old. He's 26.9. He's about to be 27. I don't agree with that one. I think he might be a little too high. Number 22, Scoot Henderson. Rookie. 
19 years old in five months. They threw him right in into the top 25. I don't know. I want to see. I want to see more, but I get it. It is a dynasty draft. I get it. So him being 22, we don't have anything to uh, talk about in terms of stats, but I guess so. Number 21, Bam Adebayo, 26 years old, averaged 20 points a game, 9.2 rebounds, 1.2 steals. Nice. 0.8 blocks. Hashtag says, if Miami doesn't land Lillard, then we should see more plays run through Bam on the offensive end, which is something they did more in 2019-20 and 2021 seasons when he averaged five plus assists a game. I love Bam. And I think him being in this top 21 range, is it works for me. DeMontis Sabonis, 27 years old, averaged 19 and 12 last season. Sabonis is a part of that one-two punch for the Sacramento Kings with De'Aaron Fox. I think Sabonis is a beast for fantasy, especially in points leagues. People have their opinion of him based on his name value. They're, they're like, oh, like I'm not drafting Sabonis before this one or that one. But the numbers don't lie, y'all. That's one thing that I encourage you all to do when you're making decisions. Really take a, a long, hard look at the numbers, what players have done over the years, and also what they're doing right now as you make these decisions. Because Sabonis ain't going nowhere. He's, he's going to be around for a while, and he is definitely, definitely a top 20 fantasy basketball player in dynasty rankings. Number 19, wow. Chet Holmgren jumps up to number 19. He's up seven spots. Your man has never played an NBA game. According to hashtag, Chet will make his debut this season. And if you've been stashing him on your roster, which I have, for a year, then you've got every right to be excited. He still has a weak frame, so expect him to be firing from game one. But the talent is definitely there. Also, don't expect him to be firing from game one, but the talent is still there. Yeah, Chet put on some weight. So I'm I'm interested to see, you know, how he looks and what he does. But I think him being in this top 20 range is fair, at least until, actually, let me say this. I think him being in the top 30 is fair. Him being in the top 20 without us seeing him play is like, I, right. and I think it's like that with rookies. For me, I always like to see them play, even in dynasty rank. It's like, you know, we've had players like Greg Oden, like who was supposed to be this, that, and third. Did we have him in the top 10 when he was out? And then what happened with him? You know, uh, what's your man's name? James Wiseman. James Wiseman. I don't know where he was ranked when he first came into the league. But once he started playing, we saw that he wasn't a top guy. So we'll see what happens with Chet. Number 18 is Darius Garland, 23 years old. Um, average 21 points a game and 7.8 assists. I love Darius Garland. I think that's fair for him to be in the top 20. We'll see what happens. Number 17, Evan Mobley, one of my favorite players, actually dropped. He was a lot higher in um, dynasty rankings uh, uh, last year, I believe. So he's averaging 16 a game, nine rebounds. According to hashtag, Mobley has the signs of being a generational talent. Preach. On a defensive end of the floor, of course. And he's more than capable of scoring on the other end of the floor. It's his free throw percentages. If they could reach 70%, then we're we're looking at a promising third season. I agree. I think if he can get that free throw percentage up, which he's average, he averaged last year 67% from the feet from the free throw line, which is not a good look. He's got to get that up. Carl Anthony Towns. Let me get a sip of this coffee for this one. Carl Anthony Towns is plummeting in draft rankings. And here, even here in dynasty rankings, at one point, maybe a few years ago, your man was like number two or number three. I don't agree with this one. I would like to see him higher. Let's look at the numbers, though. He didn't have the best season. He averaged 20.8 points per game, 8.1 rebounds, 4.8 assists. That's really not doing it. So I can see, I, I agree with hashtag here on dropping him down. Me personally, I'd like to see him move up. And I think if he has a better season, he should be more in the 12, maybe 11 range. Number 15, Devin Booker. Devin Booker is 26 years old. He averaged 27.8 points per game last season, guys. 
according to Hashtag. We might see more of Booker initiating things on the offensive end, but any uptick in assist and field goal percentage might be evened out with fewer shot attempts. Devin Booker is a dog, man. And I think for, for um, Dynasty, he he can still be like an anchor to your team, like the number two guy, like, like your second best player, maybe even your first best player if you have a deep roster. So I would be looking at getting in on some Devin Booker. Whoa. Holy guacamole chips. Check this out. Holy shish kebabs. Number 14, guys. Oh, my God. You are not going to believe this. Number 14, 28 years old. Power forward from the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Holy shish kebabs. Number 14? Yo, that's wild. For points leagues? What's 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 happening? That's crazy. Yo, Giannis averaged 31.1 points per game, 11.8 rebounds, 5.7 assists, 0.8 blocks. What, 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 what am I missing here? Uh, let me read the commentary. Giannis put up career low blocks and steal numbers last season. He countered with a career high in points. But his blocks and steals don't rise. If his blocks and steals don't rise, then his value in fantasy leagues takes another hit. Man, I don't know if it's a hit like this. We're talking about one of the top three guys in Dynasty for years. Yo, he is number 14. Yo, that is wild. Okay, let me move along. I don't got all day. Number 13, Trey Young. 24 years old. Average 26 points per game last season, 10 assists. I think Trey should be a little higher, too. I also think Giannis should be a little higher as well. Number 12, Donovan Mitchell, 26 years old. Average 28.3 points per game, 4.4 assists. I'd like to see Donovan Mitchell a little lower here. I would definitely have him under Giannis and and actually under book Giannis and Trey. I would have Donovan Mitchell. And Donovan Mitchell is dope. I think he's he's killer. I'm thinking about you, and it's justified with the season he had last year. He averaged 28.3 points per game. I get it. You know, uh, yeah. So I, I would de- I'm a little lower on Donovan Mitchell. Number 11, Cade Cunningham. Really? That's where we at? So we got Cade Cunningham above Trey Young, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Donovan Mitchell. Cade only played 76 games in his NBA career to date. He needs a 60 plus game to avoid being called an injury risk. He needs more than 60-plus games to be in this top 20. Like, what? He averaged 19.9 points per game, six assists, six rebounds. Like, listen, it's it's okay. Those are okay numbers. And I know, like, his age has a lot to do with it. But John Morant's age has something to do with it. Zion Williams' age has something to do with it. I, I'm not okay with Cade here at number 11. I think he should definitely be in that. Uh, 20 range and Giannis, Trey, some of these guys should be a little higher. So that 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 blew my mind. Holy cow. You know what else blows my mind? The fact that you can make tons of money from Underdog Fantasy, our favorite fantasy sports partner. Underdog is the best place to play fantasy sports, including best ball, daily drafts, and pick them. Start drafting in minutes for a shot at big cash and an enhanced game-watching experience. Did I mention that Kevin Durant and Mark Cuban invested in Underdog? Once I heard about those cosigns, I had to spread the news. Sign up today and use the code GAMEPICK and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. It's like getting free money, y'all. Don't miss out on your chance to double up from the jump. To sign up, just download the Underdog Fantasy app on Android or iOS. Now, let's get down to the top 10. Finish up. This is a longer episode. That's okay. I want to make sure we give you guys some value. Let us know in the comments if you want us to do this again in the next couple of months when they update the rankings. We will gladly do it. Just let us know. Next up, number 10, 23 years old and eight months from the Memphis Grizzlies, 
Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr. He's up, he's uh, down one spot. He was number nine, I guess. This has to do with blocks, I guess. He averaged 18.6 points per game, 6.8 rebounds, one assist, one steal, but three blocks per game. Defensive juggernaut. I, I'm not crazy about this, him being this high, but I can't even be mad at it. So I'm not, I don't disagree with this. I just think that, uh, you know, I have to get used to that. Number nine, Anthony Edwards, 21 years old and nine months. The shooting guard from the Minnesota Timberwolves averaged 24.6 points per game, 5.8 rebounds, 4.4 assists. I think Anthony Edwards has the opportunity and chance to be one of the greatest players in NBA history. I'm in on Anthony Edwards. Do I think he's like number nine above Giannis? Maybe not. Not yet. Not for points leagues. But I am all in on Anthony Edwards. Just don't know if he's like top 10 in dynasty rankings right now. But I'm all in on him. Not mad at this. Definitely just have questions about people like Giannis and Trent. Because those are the players that I think for dynasty will give you that value for the next three years. Number eight, Joel Embiid, 29 years old, three months, 29 and three months, averaged 33.1 points per game, y'all, 10.2 rebounds. He is the league MVP, the reigning league MVP. I have no problem with Joel Embiid being number eight on, number eight on this list. I think that's fair. Number seven, LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball is 21 years old and nine months, according to Hashtag. He has a, fran a fantasy-friendly game and is in a perfect low-pressure, fast-paced scenario in Charlotte. Last season, LaMelo averaged 23 points per game, 6.4 rebounds, 8.4 assists. Very balanced fantasy game. LaMelo is one of my favorite players to watch. In Dynasty, I do think he has a lot of potential. I am okay with him being in the top 10. No issues there. Number six, Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is 25 years old. He's a young guy, man. He he dropped three spots, which is a little wild to me. Jason Tatum is 25 years old, averaged 30 points per game, 8.8 .8 rebounds, 4.6 assists. Listen, he's, he's the truth, man. I think that him being in the top 10 is legit. I also believe that because he's so young, he still has room to grow, y'all. Like, he could actually get better. Like his prime will be for the next few years. So we still, we probably haven't seen the best from him yet. So stay tuned. Number five. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 oh, 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 whoa. Number five, Victor Webinyama, 19 years old in five months. Let me read the commentary. If you're not taking him number one in your dynasty rookie draft, then you shouldn't be playing fantasy basketball. He's a generational talent who will fill up the stat sheet across almost all categories. Don't be shocked if his minutes and body are managed to start the season, though. Listen. Okay. So I'm a dynasty guy. I'm a dynasty guy, right? If I had the number one pick... In Dynasty, I'm taking a joker. I'm taking Nikolai Jokic, number one. And here's why. So although I believe Victor Webinyama is going to be something special, something special. We have not seen it yet, guys. We haven't seen him play against, you know, real competition yet. He played in summer league. He's played professional in France. He hasn't played against LeBron and those guys, the Joker, Joel Embiid. So for me, when you think about dynasty rankings, when, when Zion was coming out, right? This is something we do every year. Zion was like, Oh, he's like top 10 in um, dynasty leagues or whatever because it's Zion. You got to grab him. I have no faith in the San Antonio Spurs players for fantasy. Like, I'm, 
I do not want my number one guy to be from the San Antonio Spurs. And I think Greg Popovich is one of the, if not the greatest coach in NBA history. But when it comes to fantasy, he is like the worst coach for, for fantasy. Like he's going to rest guys. And then Victor Webinyama, there's like this whole injury risk. Like look at the way the guy's built. Like I would not take that gamble in picking him over the Joker. But that's just me. But him being in the top 10, I'm completely fine with it. Just not taking him with my number one pick. Number four, Tyrese Halliburton, 23 years old. That's high for me for Tyrese Halliburton. I'm not quite there yet. He averaged 20 points a game, 10.4 assists. I'm not quite there yet with Tyrese. I do think he's great. I'm not like, what are we doing here? Like, I'm not trying to put him above um, Jason Tatum. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Number three, Shea Gilders Alexander. I'm more on board with this. He, like, yo, he is the man. He averaged 31.4 points per game, 5.5 assists. I have him, a, have him in a couple spots. He wasn't that guy when I, when I grabbed him. He's developed into this. I think he's a superstar, man. I think he's in a small market, so we don't get to see him as much. But I am in on SGA, and I think him being number three makes perfect sense. Number two, Luka Doncic. Come on, man. Like, no question. Like, I am in full agreement with this. I have no issues with this. Luka is one of my favorite basketball players in real life. My favorite basketball players in fantasy, points leagues, redraft, dynasty, category, 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 everything. Best, best ball, worst ball, middle ball. He's that dude. Let's hear what Hashtag has to say. His counting stats are elite and his defensive numbers are starting to look respectable. He averaged 32.4 points per game, 8.6 rebounds, 8 assists, 1.4 steals. Yo, he is a, a competitor, y'all. So for me, I, I would take Luka before I take Victor Webinyama. Why? Because I've seen Luka do it. If Victor comes out of the gates next season or this season and has a good, he averages like 25 and 8 or something like that, and Pop actually plays him, then maybe I'll be like, all right, he needs to move up. But I, I, I need to see stuff tested and proven before I jump off the ledge. Luka Doncic is proven, tested. It is what it is. And last but not least, I could give you two guesses, but you only need one. Number one ranked Fantasy basketball player for Dynasty Points Leagues, Nikola Jokic. He is 28.4, uh, 28 years old in four months on the older side, right? But in Fantasy Dynasty, I'm looking at the next three to four years. I'm not looking like, yo, what's my 10-year plan? Like, I'm looking at three to four years. And for the next three to four years, he is still, the joke is going to be joking. He's still going to be doing the joking. So he finished the best player in fantasy basketball for the past two years, and he'll continue being one of the best big men in fantasy basketball for years to come. He averaged 24.5 points per game, 11.8 rebounds, 9.8 assists, 1.3 steals, 0.7 blocks, shot 63% from the field, 82% from the free throw line. Come on, man. It really doesn't. Get much better than Nikola Jokic when we talk about fantasy basketball. So there you have it. Your top 50 fantasy basketball dynasty players, according to hashtag basketball. It has been super fun. If you are looking for a community that will help you win your league championship, you got to join our private Discord server of over 1,200 fantasy basketball fanatics. All you have to do is visit bit.ly slash game pick podcast. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash game pick podcast if you want to sign up for free. Again, if you need help or advice, drop your question in the comment section below. I will, pro I will promise, I promise that I will respond to every single comment. Also, don't forget if you want to win that free t-shirt, comment free shirt below. And don't forget... Play the waivers, set your lineups, and follow Game Pick, your freaking fantasy nerd. Peace.